So, a cousin of mine, he is involved in the military. He's been gone for many years. I, I don't know if I can disclose any information about where he's been and what he's been doing, but I will say one of the very first videos on my channel, I will link it up here, is where I attended an Army Ranger graduation ceremony and I was there for him. He was the one that was graduating. At any rate, he is now back. My aunts and uncles are doing a celebration for him, not only because he's back safe, but he's also getting married, which is great. I'm so happy for him. Me and my family are going to the celebration today and that's not something that I'm going to film, but this celebration is happening in North Carolina and for me to get there, I have to travel right through Aberdeen or pretty close to Aberdeen, North Carolina, which is where uh, Chris Watts victims are buried. So because that story, that whole thing was a big part of my channel. If you don't remember, you know, I flew all the way up to Colorado and I told that story and then I've been to their final resting place in North Carolina before. And a lot of people have seen that video. So since I'm going through there again, I just thought I would swing through, pay my respects and see if anything's different. I still think about that case all the time, that story, Shanann and her family who were just brutally murdered by Chris Watts. It, it affected a lot of people. So today we're taking a road trip to go up here for this uh, family gathering and I'll be driving right through there. So I'm gonna, we're gonna stop and see if anything's different and pay our respects. Some of you came to my channel because I had told this Chris Watts story and I had gone to the locations where it happened. And I had even come here to Aberdeen, North Carolina and paid my respects to the victims. But I, I don't know if anyone has put this together or not. So I thought I would mention it. You know, this uh, Chris Watts, he's at Dodge Correctional in Wapong, Wisconsin. But you know, that Daryl Brooks guy, the, the guy, who was just on trial. It was a big trial that everyone talked about that uh, he had driven his car through the Christmas parade up there in Wisconsin. Well, he was also shipped to Dodge Correctional. That means uh, Daryl Brooks and Chris Watts are in the same exact prison. I hope, I really hope that Daryl Brooks just annoys the crap out of Chris Watts with, especially with his sovereign citizen crap. And I don't know if anyone else has put that together or not, but. Uh, that was like one of the first things that popped into my mind when I heard that he was going to Dodge was that he was going to be in there with Chris Watts and and how I thought about them two being together inside of the same prison and uh, I just kind of thought that was funny but we have been on the road all morning and we are now in Aberdeen, North Carolina so that we can pay our respects to Shannon and them. I just, that thought clicked in my mind and I just, I, I didn't know if anyone else had thought about that or not. Everything's looking super familiar like I was just here, but it's been a couple of years now. Already you can see they've added a bunch of new plants and foliage to it. There's quite a few butterflies. Oh, none of this was here when I was here the last time. It's so pretty with all the butterflies here at their memorial. And, oh, that's brand new. God bless our family. That's cool. There it is. The actual memorial itself is still the same. Uh oh. Okay. They now have erected this sign. So, that's it. So, it looks like um, our family doesn't want, you know, a lot of people coming and, and filming their 
uh, memorial there or anything so uh, we will we stop immediately as soon as we saw the sign it is real nice it looks a lot different than what it did when we were here years ago so we're it's raining now and we are here at uh, Shanann's grave and they called the cops on us their family now no longer wants anyone to come near her grave at all the the uh, police officers here in Aberdeen basically said there's nothing they can do they can't stop somebody from taking pictures or video but um, the, they have to come if they're called so yeah I get it it's raining cats and dogs on us and we're still waiting so it would appear that the family no longer wants people filming this memorial and putting it up online it's it's a fine line because cemeteries are public property but the individual locations are private the family was um you know obviously upset this whole thing the, the whole chris watch story and shenan and all of them it has been made into a media circus a lot of media was involved with this story and I, I guess they're trying to combat that so they no longer want people video recording the property although if you're not on their property there's not a whole lot they can do about it they are asking for people to be respectful and to not do it which is why they put the sign up apparently this whole thing stemmed from people coming out here and being disrespectful which I don't know who, why, or who, why anyone would do that. I don't know why anyone would come to someone's memorial to be disrespectful, but apparently that's what happened and that's what has started all, all of this. And because uh, I do want to be respectful to the family, as soon as I saw the sign, I immediately shut the camera off. We stayed there for a minute just so that I could pay my respects, but we're walking away. So that's it. Um, we are going to move along now to our family function. In full disclosure, they threatened to trespass me from the property because I did do some video recording, although I had not seen the sign yet. I just came to pay my respects to her, but I was going to give all of you from a long distance an opportunity to do the same. I fought over the decision to post this video. I ultimately decided to post it because I stopped recording as soon as I saw the sign and I thought it would be a, an opportunity an educational opportunity so if anyone else was planning to come to the area to pay their respects or anything like that you would know that they have cameras and they're watching please don't be disrespectful please be mindful of the family and they no longer want anyone video recording the memorial and posting it online that is going to do it for this one we are moving on to our family function again i debated and i debated whether i wanted to share any of this footage with you guys but ultimately i decided that uh, i did the right thing by stopping and it would be a good educational opportunity for whoever it is out there that's being disrespectful there's no need for that at all <laughs>